Hey everyone, this is FixReef, and today we have this Castle A360X uh, Tuna Blue Info Repair. I have already repaired a few of these lights, but this particular light um, has an interesting issue, which may suggest that the repair is going to be interesting and valuable. So let's get started. So I received this light with the problem that, again, it does not turn on. And when I see, or when I when I see problems like this, I mostly immediately suspect the power circuit. Either the power circuit or the LED circuit that's failing. That's probably the case and with this light as well, except that we don't know yet. And I have seen, I have repaired a lot of Kessel lights lately. I would say that actually the majority of my repairs have been Kessel related in the past um, few weeks. And uh, I have seen some very interesting issues and I have not had a chance to actually record them. So my hope is that uh, this is going to be one of those interesting cases that I have not shared on YouTube before on my channel. So, um, so hopefully this is going to be interesting and valuable. So let's get started. Obviously the light is fairly clean. No water damage. Um, it's probably fairly safe to just go ahead and plug it into my lab power supply and um, observe the results. So let's turn it off, uh, plug it in, and gradually bring up uh, the, the, uh, the voltage. Right now, my power supply is telling me that there is uh, only about 10 milliamp uh, power consumption, so it's not completely utterly dead. But that's typical because when it's in the off state like this, your main controller is the only thing that's actually using any kind of power. So, but now, if I attempt to bring up the intensity, I'm supposed to see the light turning on, and it's not. I change the color to some medium setting, and it's still not turning on. This indicates that the problem is likely not with the power circuit. And if it's not with the power circuit, it's going to be interesting. Let's take it apart. Okay, quite a bit of dust on the surface, and um, I'm not sure what that thing in the middle is. It looks like dust and almost like a hole, but that could also be because of the mounting screw. Let's uh, clean up. Let's hope that there is no actual damage to the board here. There is a little bit. I'll have to look under the microscope. So this is actually an interesting point I did not realize before. So the mounting screw is right here. So if you use a, a non-standard screw that goes in, it may actually damage the, the board, as it may. There is nothing that stops it from from piercing into the into the um, into the board, um, which in the repair industry we would call a long screw damage. We'll have to see how bad that is. Right now, I just see that the conformal coating has been uh, scraped off. Hopefully, no traces have been affected. Looks like we'll need to get the rest of the slide out. Mostly clean, a little bit of um, salt damage. All right, so this is what we would typically want to see. This side, because this is where the power circuit is. This is where the all of the LED channels are, LED channel circuits are implemented. That's what we typically want to examine. But before, I really want to see um, that long screw damage here. I'm a little bit concerned that that might be the problem. Let's get under the microscope and take a closer look. Okay, so this is the screw, and um, what you need to do is clean this up. Um, with some IPA, and and what I do see is that the conformal coating is pretty much all chewed up. But I don't see a whole lot of damage underneath. So hopefully that's not the problem. 
you never know because if if the screw pushed in in the center of this board and it and it warped and it got some internal damage that's an entirely different story still a concern but i don't see anything that's immediately screaming this, this, this is the this is something that has to be now repaired so not that so now that we've uh, kind of established that it's likely not long screw damage let's um, let's find out what is the problem then what i usually like to do right away is um, again power it up with 19 volts and then measure some voltages around the power circuit just to verify that uh, there is going to be power coming out coming in and coming out okay so power at the input is about 19 volts power at the input of the power mosfet is also 19 volts power at the output of the mosfet is also 19 volts so the power circuit is working just fine let's test the output test points and we get 19 volts so the power circuit is working just fine the way it is i'm going to bring up the intensity to the maximum and um, test outputs again 19 volts no problems whatsoever however the light is clearly not working now recall from our previous Kessel repairs that um, the power circuit plays a fairly significant role in, in newer um, Kessel LEDs. There is a power controller here that senses if there is a short, if there is an over voltage, if there is an under voltage, and it has the ability to shut off power to the entire light in case there is a problem. So if we had a short at any of the LED circuits here, it would have detected it and shut off the power and it's not doing so if there was an under voltage or an over voltage event it would have detected it and shut off the power to the rest of the um, light and it's not doing so so as far as this power controller is concerned the light is perfectly fine since the light is not turning on whatsoever um, suggests that one of the two things happen either the main controller is not sending the signal to turn on the light for whatever reason for example the controller is bad um, only few pins on the controller are bad the ones that get the signal transfer the signal um, things like adcs for instance that type of thing um, or it could be that the circuits led circuits are somehow damaged and um, although they receive power from or they receive commands to turn on from the controller they are not doing so it is fairly unlikely and unusual for all of the led circuits to not work you would expect that either um, one of the circuits would go bad but not all of them at the same time and when that happens um, i tend to start blaming the controller yet another suspect which i usually mention is that um, the cluster is bad if the cluster is bad no amount of uh, board repair is going to solve the problem and now that i'm looking at this i'm not sure if you can see this in the camera let me zoom in a little bit i hope you can see this but i'm find i'm seeing something that is not very common for the slides there is discoloration on the inside not on the lens but on the inside of this cluster pretty much all around the perimeter of it let's i am now concerned that the problem is not with the board but with the led cluster itself let's get under the microscope and take a closer look because i think i see the problem so i'm not sure how well you can see this see this discoloration where leds are supposed to be or the wiring is supposed to be there is this there is this there is a whole lot over here and 
even more over here. In fact, let me tilt it a little bit. Now you can easier see that there is discoloration in this area, discoloration in this area, in this area, and almost like um, salt creep around what appears to be a tiny resistor inside. I think that this cluster is gone. I'm fairly confident at this point that this cluster is gone. Since we have it out, why don't we try to take it apart and take a look on the inside of this? I'm curious if I can see some more evidence of some kind of seal breaking and salt starting to, to get inside. I can repair clusters on all other part, or all of the other lights. Um, hydras, radions, you name it. But not on Kessels, because Kessels is a um, single cluster made, I believe that it's made just for uh, Kessel. And as a result, um, it's not typically available for purchase. Okay. So the cluster itself seems to be held by these four screws. Um, it probably comes in, because it's wired like this, it probably comes in as a uh, as this whole unit here. Let's attempt to get the rubber seal off. And now, even more evidence of corrosion is, is visible. There is visible corrosion at the edges. This, I'm not sure if this is salt creep, um, shavings or, or uh, another seal inside, I don't know, but looks like a seal, but there is a significant gap, especially down at the bottom here and up at the top here, which is consistent where, with where the I see the corrosion on the inside. I'm curious if I can remove the seal and I can pick and lift off the, the lens. There is a significant gap in this area over here. The lens itself appears to be glued to the bottom, so I'm not going to be able to lift it easily. But there is a hole right over here. goes all the way in. There is a hole all over here. All goes all the way in. And there is a hole here. So um, I, my guess is that corrosion eventually made it into this cluster. It's moisture, salt made it into this cluster and corroded the um, the LED cluster entirely. So, so that's what it is. So this is my friend how a castle light can die beyond repair. The seal breaks, corrosion gets inside the LED cluster, and at that point, it's game over. The, all this is not repair. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.